Day Sob this morning, Glenn, once again, here we go with Chris Woolsley. We're going to talk about three different things, but we're going to get started with, first of all, the biggest of all, Crackle, right? Isn't that right, Chris? I love Crackle. I can't, right, I, I can't stop talking about it. Yeah, and I love Crackle. So let's talk about Cossacks. Yes. So this is our Crackle original series this month. Super excited about this one. Uh, as you know, James, I am a massive nerd. Uh, I am a uh, sci-fi nerd and I'm also a fantasy. I'm all kinds of nerds, but um, we have got this amazing fantasy adventure series called Cossacks. And it's it's unusual for a number of reasons. Uh, one is it's one of the funnest series that I've watched in years. But uh, more importantly is it's shot in and cast with almost an entirely Ukrainian group. So it was shot in the Ukraine before the war. Uh, the cast is almost entirely Ukrainian. Some of them are actually on the front lines as we speak, fighting to defend their country. But um, it's it's a really fun series. Um, it, it takes place uh, in the early 1800s. And it's uh, about this rogue who steals a treasure from the Tsar of Moscow only to find out that the treasure is bewitched and it leads him on a series of these crazy adventures. If you like uh, Hercules, if you like Xena Warrior Princess, uh, this is going to be right down your alley, but really one of the funnest shows and one of the smartest. The writing in this is spectacular. So I'm very excited about Cossacks. Oh man, I'm waiting to see this now. Let's talk about one shot. Yes. So star-studded, uh, Scott Atkins from John Wick Chapter 4, uh, Ashley Green from Twilight, and of course, Ryan Philippe uh, from Crash. This is your, you know, this is just a great Friday night popcorn action flick. Uh, it's about a, a group of special forces soldiers who go to a Guantanamo type compound in order to uh, get a, a certain prisoner and move him to a new location. And while they're there, an insurgent group attacks the compound and they have to defend themselves and not only stay alive, but also keep this, this, uh, uh, particular prisoner capture and get him to the new location. So great action, really fun, one shot, check it out. All right, what about what doesn't kill you? Yes, so this is, you know, I love character actors and I love leading men who can play character actors, people like Brad Pitt, who can just like transform themselves. And uh, what doesn't kill you is starring Mark Ruffalo and Ethan Hawke, who uh, I don't want to like Ethan Hawke, but I I have to like Ethan Hawke. I just, every time I see him, I just go, the guy is just really good. Um, and he is, he is uh, transformative in this film, but it's about a, a couple of guys that live in South Boston. They're Southie guys. Um, one of them is trying to get out of the sort of criminal lifestyle and the other one is doubling down. And it's just about the, their relationship um it's it's great the performances are some of the best that i've seen from either of them if you like character driven gritty family dramas this is definitely the one for you now you've had this on before and you got it on again let's talk about crown vic oh i only i only bring it up again because it's so good so uh this was a crackle original um and uh we've got it back this is starring thomas jane and luke Kleintonk, and um Thomas Jane, obviously, from Thid Red Line and Luke from The Man in the High Castle. It's it's a gritty police drama. So it's very similar to Training Day, speaking of Ethan Hawke. And um, uh, Luke Klingtonk is on his first. It's basically you're in the ride along for Luke's first night as a police officer on the beat. But there's this storyline going on in the background that seems like it's sort of ancillary and it a huge twist comes at the end of the film that you do not see coming. It is really, really great. Their performances are phenomenal and you're going to spot all kinds of cameos from other uh, big name actors as well. Crown Vic. It's one of my favorite movies on crackle right now. All right. We have last but not least grand piano. Ah, okay. So um, the, I just love this movie for a number of reasons. One, uh, I've been a fan of John Cusack since uh, he first hit the scene. I, I want to say his first thing was 
16 Candles. He actually played like one of the nerdy best friends. Um, and I just, I, I've i always loved him. He's so good in this movie. He sort of pivoted to becoming uh, a really odd character actor. And um, I think he's great at what he does. So Elijah Wood is also in this, who, how do you not love Elijah Wood? And he plays a concert pianist who uh, has had a nervous breakdown and kind of just blew it on stage. He just folded. And now this is his big comeback. He gets on stage, opens up the music sheets, and there's a note in there that says, if you play one note wrong, I'm going to kill you. And then he looks down and there's a laser pointer on his hand. So somewhere in the venue is a sniper or or at least someone claiming to be a sniper who is going to kill him. It's very uh, reminiscent of, of good Brian De Palma films, um, those old school 80s and 90s thrillers. It's taught. It's well written. The performances are great. Grand piano, get on it. Oh man, it's a great lineup for uh, for September for Crackle Cossacks, One Shot, What Doesn't Kill You, Crown Vic, and Grand Piano. Chris Woolsey, thank you so much. We'll be back next week, and I guess we're going to be talking about, of course, Redbox. So we'll I, see you next week. I can't wait, James. Look forward to it. <laughs>